the thyroid is echonormal. There are two discrete lesions in the right lobe. The media one is interesting. Based on the acoustic shadow, the nodule must have coarse calcification. The acoustic shadow makes the nodule shape deceptively non-parallel but indeed, this should not be regarded pathological. The left lobe has a relatively large, echonormal nodule. Here is a smaller lesion, while in the lower half, there is a large cystic nodule. This nodule has halo. The almost pure cyst presents large comma tail artifacts. In the longitudinal section we can see the three nodules in a common field of vision. None of the lesions shares oncological importance. The solid nodule has paranodular flow, while the cyst presents no vascularity. Now, I show the aspiration of 12 milliliters cystic fluid. Note large comet tail artifacts in the dorsal part of the fluid. After the removal of cystic content, much larger solid part running all over the inner wall became visible. Now, the right submandibular salivary gland is shown. Here we can see a mass which is composed of a central minimally hypochoic mass surrounded with very hypochoic areas. Note the acoustic amplification dorsal to the mass. The lesion has vascularity even according to the very hypochoic parts. For example, see yellow arrows. It means that these parts are also solid.